Hi, this is John from PSD Dude, and in this video I would like to show you our vectorizer action for Photoshop. You can download this action uh, by using the link in the description of this video. This action transforms any image into a cartoon-like vector image. Vector images can be resized without losing details. Therefore, you can use this action for creating designs that you can print on flyers or even t-shirts. In the download package for this action, you can find all the required files for this action. There's also a help file explaining you how to install these files. If the action has been correctly installed, I can start using it. Because it's a script action, I will find it under File and Scripts. And then look for PSD Dude Vectorizer. All I have to do is press the start button. After that the action will ask me to draw over the areas that I want to convert to a vector. To do this it already selected the brush for me which I can use to draw over the areas that I want converted. After the areas that I want converted to a vector have been painted over, the action requires to input a name which it will use to create custom shapes. I will put in vector girl and then click continue. The action stops and I can change the threshold level. By doing this, I'm modifying how intense the contours for the vector shapes will be. I'll leave it at 128. As a result of the action, you will have six layers named My Shape 1 through 6. These are vector layers and they are stacked on top of each other. Together, they make the vector image. There are two extra steps that you can take to further improve the result of the action. One is to change the color of each vector layer. To do this, you have to double click on the layer thumbnail and then choose a color. You will notice that changing the colors for some layers might have unwanted effects. To fix this, you have to use the colorized layer. So first select the colorized layer, select the brush tool, choose the color that you would like to use, and then just paint over the areas that have the wrong color. You can also use different colors in the same layer. Each colorized layer affects a different part of the vector shape.
As you can see, this action offers you lots of flexibility and lots of customization options. After just a few other modifications, here is the original photo and the end result. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions or remarks, please use the comments below. For other Photoshop tutorials and resources, please visit psddude.com.